Hello, good evening. Welcome to Up Close. The history of dance is full of swerves, full of these moments when a new genre came in, but it built off something else. So forgive me because in the end you make some choices, but we're going to try and give you really a whirlwind tour of the history of dance, but not of me just talking about it, but getting to see it, getting to see these dancers. In many cases, as they take on roles that they're going to perform later in the festival, so you can come back and see it come to full bloom. We've talked social dance, we've talked classical ballet, the roots of classical ballet, and what of modern dance? You're really thinking about how long or how much further can I go? I'm gonna go there and there and then do this on the way up. Up, yes. Good. Neat feet, neat, neat. I'll give some bullet points that I think are really notable, not just in the development of tap dance as a form of dance, but the way tap dance impacted major changes in American music. Whoa. Yeah, one of the features of the battle is when the dancer challenges the other dancer when they're ready. All right, KJ. There's a ballet called Afternoon of a Fawn set to Debussy music, where Nijinsky's fawn has an erotic encounter with a nymph, and everything has a certain angle on it, which challenges the classical orthodoxy of the time. Well, Robbins, of course, knows about this, and then in his own way says, you know, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to turn it into something else. <laughs> Robbins is developing. Modern dance is having another twist with the great choreographer Merce Cunningham. We're going to contrast Aurora from the 19th century world of Petipa and Unity from the 1957 mid century masterpiece Agon. Gorgeous. That was a high wire act of high wire acts, right? This is the famous Rosa Daggio. So but then Balanchine brings the Rosa Daggio up to you. I was in a rehearsal of Agon, and Balanchine said to me, no, dear, no, not like that. It's the Rosa Daggio. So can we show what he meant by it? How high can you go, Unity? Go higher, higher, higher. Hang on. Turn her, Calvin. So that's how Mr. Balanchine took his heritage, Petipa and Tchaikovsky, and pushed it forward. All of it is cumulative, right? And one of the people who was watching everything, watching Balanchine, watching Martha Graham, watching all of the innovations, was the extraordinary choreographer Twyla Tharp. Sail away, we will cross the mighty ocean to just Bailey came along and he could make a work about what it was like to be in a club in the 20s in New York, but he could also use the modern dance tradition to create a work like Reflections in Deep. We're going to finish out now 
with a giant swerve of American ballet. If you were here on Friday, you saw Serenade by Balanchine with music by Tchaikovsky. It changed ballet in America. And we're going to teach you the beginning of Serenade. And gently close it in fifth position and prepare to dance. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone for enjoying this up close work. Thank you all the dancers. Thank you all the musicians, the pianists, Joel, Michael, and Alan. And we'll see you for all the rest of the performance.